Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphena here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily use the new beat detection option in DaVinci Resolve 20. This allows you to easily place these marker-like points in an audio clip on beats of the song or instrumental. So if you're editing highlight videos, music videos, trailers, or pretty much any video that's gonna be edited on beat. So here I have some video clips that have not been edited to this beat. And this audio clip is my song Punisher, which is available on all music platforms. I'll play a little bit of it. So in order to use beat detection, all you have to do is right click on the audio clip and at the bottom of the menu, you'll see show music beats. Click on that, it'll analyze the clip. And if I zoom in, you can see it essentially found the beats on this track. Let's go ahead and play it and see if it's accurate. So it seems it's a little off right here. Like this one here is not on a beat. Here we have a kick snare, and then the next kick is over here. It placed it before that, though here it goes back to a snare. So these two are off. Let's go to a different part of the track to check it out. This one's pretty accurate here. That's because I think I have a simple pattern. That's completely accurate. Let's go to a different part. Yeah, it seems pretty accurate there. Let's go to the beginning part. So for the most part, it got it pretty accurate. It seems like it just missed a few spots. So I wouldn't depend on this 100%, but it does seem to help and can make your life a lot easier, especially if you edit trailers, highlight videos, music videos, or any content that really gets edited to music. Now, once you have these little markers placed in with the beat detection, if you have snapping on right here with this little magnet icon, your clips will snap into those markers. Again, making it way easier to edit to music. Let's see how well it does with more ambient music that doesn't have drums. So this is already a finished video here, but let's go ahead and get rid of the video part for now. Let's right click, show music beats. So that is very accurate. This is working really well. So you don't really need something that has a lot of heavy drums. It just probably won't work well with score music or soundscapes. You'll need something that at least has some rhythm to it. Yeah, that works great. So I'm sure this is gonna get even better as time goes on and new updates come. But even right now, it's working really well. And for me, being someone that edits a lot of music videos, this is actually gonna be a huge help. So there you guys have it. That's how to use the new beat detection in DaVinci Resolve 20. Now on this channel, I do have a playlist with a lot more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So make sure to check that out. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.